Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final of the 2024 Kenya Cup. Coming to you live from the Forest Kakamega ASK Showground. I'll be your host for today, this beautiful final presented and hosted by Cabra Sugar. My name is Walter Rangi, and welcome for the ride of this year's Kenya Cup final. It has been a roller coaster of a season culminating right here in the forest as we get ready for the final. Now, folks, the two sides have met for several seasons now moving into this final. And of course, it has been a mixed reaction, a mixed bag for the two teams. Looking at how they have performed. KCB falling short last season as Cabra Sugar reign for the Kenya Cup final and took the trophy, the main cup trophy right here, the ASK Showground. A repeat of last year's final. Different setup, of course, a different year. Now, standing for the Cabra Sugar team, we have Emmanuel Lutieno coming in in loose head prop. We have Eugene Sifuna coming in at hooker. Tight head prop, we have Suman Mugera, David Bunduki, and Brian Juma pairing up in the locks. George Nyambua, the captain, coming in at left flanker. Right flanker, Kevin Wekesa taking duty off this weekend. Gabriel Adero coming in at number eight. Brian Tanga taking a scrum of duty for the reigning champions. Barrio Robinson Otieno coming in at flyer position. Lame Kambetsa left wing. Walter Okoth in the midfield for Cabras pairing up with Bryson Adaka who, coming, who comes in at second center. Alfred Orega will be taking duty on the right wing and Tabeni Dukisa will finish off at the first 15 for Cabra Sugar. Of course, the replacement Steady Akala at number 16, Edward Maura, Ephraim Odor, Hilary Odiambo, William Mwanji, Patrick Lumumba, Jenson Misoga, and Brian Mutua. That is the squad for Cabra Sugar this match day. Very, very interesting looking at what Carlos Katia has gone in terms of his squad going with a 7-1 split, meaning that he'll task his forwards more in terms of delivering this trophy today. That's a tactical advantage, of course, if it turns out to be the best decision, going with less backs and going opting for more forwards in the play. And now for KCB, we have Oscar Simiu, a uh, very, very accomplished prop for the KCB side. Griffin Musila, the captain for the KCB side, coming in at hooker. Wilwai Mususi is their tight head prop for this weekend. The Kenya, former Kenya under-20 player, Emmanuel Silungi, will be pairing Andy Kolomolo in the locks. Elvis Olukusi coming in at the flank, uh, number six, that is the left flanker. We have Felix Ojo coming in at number seven for the KCB team. He has had a stellar season. Colian Pajian coming in at number eight. Samuel Asati tasked with the duty of making sure that the ball distribution this weekend is up to par for KCB. At Scrum of Levi Amunga, Making his first appearance this weekend at number 10, the whole season really has seen a, a different number 10, and that looks to be a tactical change by Curtis Olago. We have Austin Sikutua coming in at number 11. Bob Mohati will be coming in at first center. Vincent Onyala, an experienced campaigner for KCB, will be coming in at second center. Michael Omalua is on the left wing for the bunkers. And finally, first 15, that is the fullback duties will be going to the experienced Darwin Mukita, looking to make sure that he gets his team on the front foot from the back position. Now the replacements for the bankers, Fidel Miner at number 16, Patrick Ouko, Nelson Yandat, Davis Chenge, Peter Waitere, Brian Wahinya, Festa Shiasi, and Peter Kilonzo. That is what Curtis Olago has put forward today in terms of his match day squad. These are two teams that have met severally and they know each other so well. So a matter of tactics here and there just to make sure that they get one better of each other. As the crowd gathers, it is a beautiful setup right here at the SK Showground as the fans are brimming with a lot of optimism. We have the KCB fans and the Cabras fans. The Isikuti is renting the air right here at the SK Showground. And of course, uh, the two teams are definitely. And of course, uh, the Cointos had already been done, and we have the two teams the captain, Nyambua, and uh, Griffin Musila, 
led there by the center referee, Constant Cup. KCB winning the coin toss, kicking us off in this game in the final, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. And in your picture, Arigio Biero in, in charge of the Kenya Rugby Union photography duty today. Also an experienced photographer, that I must add. Well, the two sides lined up in the tunnel, ladies and gentlemen, making their way onto the pitch. Nyambua leading Cabras. Griffin Musila. Griffin Musila leading KCB. We will have the pre-match handshake, ladies and gentlemen. And going in for the pre-match handshake, we have Jafet Achola Group, HRD, KCB. Jafet Achola Group, HRD, KCB. And George Muruli, Group Head External Affairs and Communications at Naitiri Sugar. Joining in is the chairman of Cabra Sugar, ladies and gentlemen, Edwin Esilaba. And none other than Sadiq, Sadiq Maki, the chairman, KCB. Our referee team for this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, will be led by Constant Cup, the center referee, assisted by Victor Odor and Duncan Kyoko. There you have it. Dignitaries. Jaffet Achola, Group HRD, KCB, being joined by George Muruli, Group Head, External Affairs and Communications at Naitiri Sugar. Griffin Musila introducing his charges. And in your picture, Edwin Esilaba, the chairman, Cabra Sugar, is having a bit of a word there. And just behind, following closely, we have the Kenya Rugby Union Secretary, Ray Olendo, the Vice Chairperson, Kenya Rugby Union, Buana Moses Ndale, also in the picture. KCB's Chairman, Sadiq Maki. So very interesting to see how these two teams uh, will be taking on each other today. And finally, the treasurer, Kenya Rugby Union, Abana Joshua Aroni in the picture. The two sides lining up. That is the pre-match handshake. Done and dusted. It is about time we get onto the matters that brought us here. That is the kickoff of the 2024 Kenya Cup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Done with the pre-match handshake. It is time for the 2024 Kenya Cup final. Coming up, Cabra Sugar taking on KCB. The players had old. Getting ready for match day duties. Final touches there by the Cabras team. Very interesting to see the warm up session for the Cabras team. That is just making sure that the shoulders are ready for contact. KCB already lined up and waiting for the opponent remember KCB won the coin toss 
And they elect to kick us off. Meanwhile, the security is what is. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us from far and wide, I'm sure this stream is really reaching the farthest of places. Many thanks to each and every one of you who is just joining us. Make sure that you share this link to your friends and family, wherever they are, so that they can join us on this uh, drive and journey. Kicking us off is KCB receiving Cobra Sugar. Uh, some of the fans there, you can see Felix Kiplagad and Dedan Morris doing what they do best. Livia Munga with ball in hand. He'll be kicking us off. Very, very experienced player. Turned out for the Kenyatta University team. Transitioned to Cabra Sugar where he had a stint. W transitioned to KCB, I beg your pardon, where he had a stint in the National 7th team. And uh, given the nod to start this weekend at Flyer for It's a good restart. The ball is knocked on in play by Elvis Olukusi, losing the ball forward. Advantage to Cabra Sugar. It's a knock on advantage. Brian Tanga at the tail of that truck. Passes the ball to Brian. That is Nyambua, the captain. The ball is back, back to Dukisa, who hoofs it. Upfield and gets a beautiful kick for his team. This clearly looks like a 50-22. And there you have it. Now the, the referee, the assistant referee signals for a line out for KCB. Let's have a look at what Griffin Musilla will do with this one. The line out is thrown in. And Asati opts for a high clearance. The ball is in play. Cabra Sugar with possession. Taking into contact. And the Sugarman. Brian Tanga shifts the ball to Nyambua George. Nyambua takes contact. Tanga. Brian Tonya. Barry Robinson. Walter Koth. Ntabeni Dukisa. And K Bra Sugar lose it forward in contact. Early opening nerves by the two teams. First crumb of the day in the final goes to KCB. Let's see how they park in the forwards. Asati with ball in hand. It is a penalty to KCB. Cabra Sugar. not able to hold their weight and collapsing the scrum as the penalty is awarded to KCB. Attacking ball for KCB. Griffin Musilla with ball in hand. Line out is fed. Andy Kolomolo takes the ball from the air. Felix Ojo takes contact. One, two, three Cabras players attracted to that bit of action. Samuel Asati clears it into the midfield. Asati to Levy. Levy opting for the high ball. To Benny Dukisa receiving and opting to kick it back to KCB. Darwin Mukita looking to keep possession in play. Throws the ball back in. Ball still in play. K 
Kevin Wakesa with the ball. Passes it back. What a mistake there by KCB. It is prime attacking football for Cabral Sugar. Brian Tanga shifting it to the forwards. Brian Tonya takes contact. Brian Tanga, Tanga. Walter Koth cutting through and slicing through the KCB defense and landing the first try of this game. What a play there by the Cabras Sugar team. Ladies and gentlemen, feeding off a mistake by KCB's fullback and punishing the bunkers. That is Walter Koth just slicing through that defensive line and getting a center post score for Cabral Sugar. Slowing the ball down in the process as his teammates come in to celebrate with him. Tabeni Dukisa getting the extra two points. Tabeni Dukisa, ladies and gentlemen, getting the extra two points for Cabra Sugar. Bring the scores to Cabra Sugar 7, KCB 0. Well, what a start there by the Cabra's team. Just punishing KCB. Beg your pardon, on the screen we have KCB 7, Cabras 0. It is the opposite, Cabras 7, KCB 0. But that is what really happens once you lose the ball in a very, very dangerous position. Meanwhile, on the attack, straight from the kickoff is Cabras Sugar. Sorry, KCB looking to respond almost immediately to falling back. Bob Mohati, ball in hand, the big wrecking ball. Bob Mohati takes contact, passing the ball back to... Michael Omalua, Omalua taking one, two, three Cabras players. Samuel Asati at the base of the rack. Ojo Felix, Felix the machine running into the Cabras team. Well, Cabras defending ferociously. Into the five, they go. Silungi. Levia Munga, Levia Munga tackled. Good defensive response there by Cabras. And uh, Simil loses the ball. Oscar Simil loses the ball. It is a knock on advantage for Cabras. Well, really, with the advantage by the referee, Cabras opting to go for the scrum. Missed opportunity there by KCB. An opportunity for them to strike back to respond to going down a try. But this Solid scrum there by Cabras. Well, what a run there by Cabras, but they lose the ball forward by the referee signals for an advantage. Advantage is over. Down Mkita takes contact, passes the ball back to Austin Sikuto. Austin Sikuto running. It's straight, running it back. Route one. Meanwhile, referee awards Cabras the penalty for a side entry at the rock by KCB. Well, what a passage of play. The two sides really exchanging blows. Tabeni Dukisa looking for touch. Went to the 10 meter inside the KCB half. Edwin. 
Eugene Sifuna with ball in hand, feeding the line out. The referee awards a half a penalty to KCB. We're closing the gap in the line out area. Remember, the gap has to be kept at one meter between the two sides. Meanwhile, we have Alfred Orega with ball in hand. It takes contact, but a big tackle by KCB. Brian Tanga passes the ball back to Tabeni Dukisa. Dukisa hosts it, bo the ball forward. Darwin Mukisa with a chip and chase. Chases his own kick. But Barry Robinson with other ideas. Taking contact in their own half. To Benny Dukisa trusting his boot once again. Looking for that space just right behind the KCB defensive line. And getting another beautiful kick execution by Cabras. Well, something that looks to be the key and weapon for Cabras today is the boot of Ntabeni Dukisa. Just looking to turn the KCB defensive line back whenever they try and get into the Cabras half. The line out is thrown successfully. KCB hoof it forward. There you have it, Bryson Adaka with heap of speed and space. And there you go, Lame Kambetsa. But big tackle coming in there by KCB, and the ball is lost. On the ground there, Samuel Asati saves his team. The clearing kick is a beautiful kick by Darwin Mukita. Once again, Cabra Sugar losing a prime attacking opportunity there for their second try. Many gaps opening in this KCB defensive side. That was Cabras's third line break of this first half. Eugene Sifuna. So far doing well in the line out. Uh, it is a penalty. As called by the center referee, Constant Cap. Just waiting to see who the penalty is awarded to. Penalty for Cabral Sugar. Tackling the man in the air. KCB pulling down Brian Juma as he went for the line out. Uh, you can see he's having a conversation. He's having a conversation. And Cabra Sugar opting to go for the three. To Benny Dukisa looking to add the extra three points on the scoreboard for Cabras. So far, just one attack into the Cabras half as. To Benny Dukisa gets the extra three points. Penalty conversion by Cabra Sugar. Adding the extra three points for the Sugar Men. Bring the scores to Cabra Sugar 10, KCB 0. Take it, take it. Signal. In Restart taken very well by Cabras. Looking to drag Brian Tanga into touch. But KCB losing that battle. 
Brian Tanga at the base of the rock. Passes it back to Ntabeni Dukisa, who hoofs it forward. Samuel Asati fielding that high ball. Meanwhile, Darwin Mukitsa weaving his way through the Cabra Sugar defensive line. Passing the ball to Felix Ojo. Felix Ojo taking contact and losing the ball in contact. It is a scrum for Cabras. For KCB, really have to settle down and start using their precious little possession because they seem to be losing the ball and every other time they lose the ball, they are on the defensive. Cabras looking to pile more misery on the bankers. Brian Tangra. The ball in hand as he looks to feed the scrum. So far, the battle of scrum time has really not been a big one because everyone is using their ball. Cabras are feeding their balls and getting them out. Meanwhile, this one is the referee awards the penalty and a quick tap there by Brian Tanga. Brian Tanga, silky customer, this one. Brian Tonya takes contact as Nyambua, the captain. And uh, that is a beautiful chip and chase. And guess who, ladies and gentlemen, Kelvin Wakesa. Wakesa with Cabrasil's second try. Ladies and gentlemen, getting Cabras second round of the match. Taking the score, Cabras Sugar 15, KCB 0. Well, KCB's defensive line really in sixes and sevens. Simple chip and chase by. Dukisa and Tabeni getting Cabras' second try of the match as he looks to add the extra two. And Tabeni Dukisa misses the conversion attempt. Cabras Sugar 15, KCB is zero. The first half, a KCB failure to defend in their 22 handing Cabral's Sugar their second try of the game. Really feeding off the mistakes of the bankers. Well, what a start by Cabras. Levi Munga with ball in hand looking to restart. Ball goes up beyond the 10 meter line and well taken in the air by Cabras. Brian Tanga passes it back to Dukisa. Dukisa with his usual high boot. Just looking to screw deeper into the KCB half, uh, but Austin Sikutua responds. Kicking the ball deep into the Cabra Sugar half. Line out time, Cabra Sugar. Line out is fed and well taken by Cabras. Brian Tanga. This is the ball. Meanwhile, the referee, Constant Cup, issuing KCB with a yellow card. The captain is sent to the bean for an off the ball tackle by the captain. 
getting from bad to worse for KCB. Now down to 14, looking to claw back a 15 point deficit. Cabral Sugar kicking the ball into touch. It is line out time. Line out time, Cabral Sugar. Captain having a minute. Eugene Sifuna with ball in hand. Line out time. Well taken in the air by Cabras. Referee with an advantage. Play for Cabras. A free play. Eugene Sifuna fighting and battling with a KCB defensive line. Brian Tanga shifting the ball to Gabriel Odero. Gabriel Odero taking contact into the 10 meter yard area of, of KCB. George Nyambua with yet another carry. Flurry of carries by the captain. Switch back in play there. Brian Tonya with ball in hand. Tabeni Dukisa. George Nyambua passes the ball to Kevin Wekesa. Kevin Wekesa. Versus Elvis Olukusi. Olukusi. But Cabras lose the ball forward. And the advantage play by the referee is taken by the Sugarman. Well, very interesting to see what they do from this. And looking at how their line out has fared, they opt for the line out. KCB down one man. Means there is an overlap somewhere on the pitch. Open play or in the forwards, and they opt to go for the line-out. Looking to set either a mole or play off the top of that line-out. Ball is fed in, but it is lost. But an infringement at line-out time. <laughs> Referee awarding Cabra Sugar with half a penalty. And they opt for the scrum down, knowing very well that the captain Griffin Musila is off the pitch. KCB, of course, have to get a hooker onto the pitch for that specific scrum down. That entirely means that in the back line of Cabra's there is a one-man advantage because they'll have to either get off a backline player or one of the back row players. But judging by the positioning of this scrum, attacking opportunity for Cabras, a dangerous position, KCB would rather have 8v8 at the scrum as compared to having a 7v8, which definitely will be a scrum shove, which could easily lead to a penalty try or a clear out try for Cabras. Well, very interesting to note the two sides made a couple of weeks ago right here a, a rainy affair on that specific day, and Cabras came top. A bit very, very narrow. It would be interesting to know what the two coaches think about the first half, the first couple of minutes of this game. Coach Curtis would definitely be reeling from the mistakes that have costed his team. I remember down by a man. Strong scrummaging there by KCB, not budging. 
Well, the referee awards a penalty to Cabras, collapsing the scrum. Cabras Sugar opting for yet another scrum. Just looking to squeeze uh, that little bit of energy out of the KCB forward line. Very many opportunities here in the open side of uh, the scrum. Little weapons, Bryson, Adaka, Walter, Okoth in the midfield for Cabras. That is if they opt to play it to the open side. But most importantly, first things first, the scrum has to be a solid platform for the attack to work. Any of that magic. Ball at the tail of the scrum. Brian Tanga takes off, passes the ball to Walter Okoth, who runs a strong line. The forwards coming round. Tanga, Tanga passes the ball out wide to... And there you go. Ntabeni Dukisa. Try time. Cobra Sugar. Ntabeni Dukisa. Getting Cobra Sugar to start to the game. Taking the lead and the scores. To Cobra Sugar. 20. K. CB. Zero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a play there by Cabras. Just running away with this one in the first half. Of course, with a one-man advantage on the pitch, getting a front foot ball from the scrum down, shifted it twice or thrice in that run of play. Landed a five-pointer and extended their lead. Well, the home team, the home fans in uh, jubilation. Cabra Sugar running away with this one. That 10 minute period for the Sinbin. Seemingly very costly kick of time. Levia Munga fills it really high. Well taken in the 22 there by Cabras. Brian Tanga looking to clear that ball off the base of the rack. Ntabeni Dukisa with. Yet another high kick. Darwin Mukiza fielding that one. Doing well. But Walter Okoth with a massive tackle there on Darwin Mukiza. Darwin passes it to Levy. Levy, Bob Mohati. Bob Mohati to Pajan Kolian. Pajan Kolian with fast ball carried forward. There you have Mike Wamalo taking the ball into contact. Cabras backtracking. Meanwhile, it is a penalty. Center referee really not having any of off the ball contact and sending Tabeni Dukisa to the bean. Well, it is 1-1. One, one. Cabras down to 14 as their talisman. Their danger man, Tabeni Dukisa, is sent to the bean. 14 on 14, KCB versus Cabras. Now it's time for KCB to execute they go for the line out. KCB on the attack, first time, and referee with an advantage. Innocent, sorry, Oscar Simi with ball in hand. Pajan, Pajan, Kolian takes KCB into the five. There you have it, Asati passes it to Vincent Onyala, but rebuffed and taken back in a very strong tackle there. Still prime attacking opportunity for KCB. There you have Oscar Sorano taking contact. 
Asati, Asati, flicking the ball. Asati passing it to Andy Cole, Molo. Who seems to be held up by the defensive line of the Cabras team. But the referee was playing an advantage. Samuel Asati looking to take the troops forward. Quick tap there by Vincent Onyala. And finally, it is try time KCB. Well, that's a good response. Cabras going down to 14. And immediately, KCB take advantage of uh, that reduction in number. Samuel Asati not taking time there with the penalty. Quick tap and passing it out wide to the very aware and always ready Vincent Onyala to get KCB back on the score. Looks like a long way out, but who knows? The conversion attempt is unsuccessful by Darwin Mukita. That is 22-5 in favor of Cabras. It is a coach killer whenever a team that scores does not feel that they're restart. It's KCB's time to be tested on the restart end. Barry Robinson with ball in hand. Barry kicks us off. Kevin Wakesa on the hunt. And there you go. That's a commentator's cast as Felix Ojo. And awaiting confirmation, ladies and gentlemen, the kickoff was lost forward by Felix Ojo as the center referee goes and consults his AR, Victor Duor, who signals for a scrum down for Cabral Sugar. The initial infringement, which was uh, the knock-on of that high wristed by Cabras. Like I was saying, it is a coach killer because immediately after scoring points, you, you as a coach really expect your team to get that resulting kickoff and clear your lines. But KCB handing prime attacking possession to Cabras. It is 14 on 14. It is actually 14 on 15 as Griffin Musila is back onto the pitch. Brian Tanga with ball in hand feeds the scrum down. At the tail of the scrum, we have Gabriel Odero. Gabriel Odero looking to help drive his team forward. And they have an advantage at scrum time. Free play there for the Sugarman, and they opt to kick it wide for a cross kick, but the ball doesn't hit the mark. Finds touch. But the referee was playing an advantage for the scrum and awards the penalty to Cabras. Cabras going for their strength, the scrum. Too many penalties considered at scrum time by KCB. Pretty sure the center referee will be having a word or two with the captain about the infringement at scrum time. Well, the Sinbin period has to be managed by Cabras. KCB couldn't manage their scrum. They couldn't manage uh, their Sinbin time and considered quite a number of points. Cabras have already considered a five-pointer. Let's have a look at what they do from this scrum down. Remember, by also opting to go for the scrum down, the time on the Sinbin is also well taken care of. 
Well, another scrum infringement. By Cabras now, this is adjudged to be Emmanuel Otieno hinging at scrum time and collapsing the scrum. The penalty is awarded to KCB. KCB with ball in hand, Darwin Mukiza looking for touch. And he gets the ball into touch. It's about execution now for KCB. Perfect weather conditions right here at the ASK showground for KCB to execute. Meanwhile, there you have a Walter caught with a massive tackle. Elvis Olukusi looking to take KCB forward. Goes into the big Cabral Sugar forwards, but he's held up. It's a mall. KCB have to use it or lose it. And they lose it. Ball taken into contact by Cabras, sorry, KCB. Not able to use it. It is from time, Cabras Sugar. Scrum is fed by Robinson with a chip, having worked the first time for the Sugarman. Austin Sikutu are running it straight. Bob Mohati, the big wrecking ball, Bob Mohati, but passes the ball back, looking for his teammates, but finding Kevin Wakesa, who defuses that bomb for the Sugarman. Barry Robinson with the responsibility, uh, hoping the ball forward, a high kick. Taken into contact there by Cabras. Samuel Asati kicking the ball back to Cabras as Barry Robinson looks to clear his lines. And he gets touch in the KCB half. Barry Robinson dropping into that pocket left by Ntabeni Dukisa, clearing their line quite comprehensively. Very well done by Cabras. Not looking to play in their own half. Just posing the challenge to KCB. Can KCB respond? Griffin Musila with ball in hand. Line out is well taken by Elvis Olukusi, rising up the tall figure of Elvis. Levi Amunga passes the ball to Vincent Onyala. Vincent Onyala to Austin Sikutua. Austin Sikutua attacking Cabras. The tackle is made, but it is now completed. So the young man had all the rights to rise up again, but eventually bundled into touch as the Calvary of Cabras Sugar arrived at the crime scene. That's a good tackle there by Barry Robinson. Completing the tackle eventually. Meanwhile, KCB on the attack from that line out. Bob Mohati, Bob Mohati runs into the midfield. Walter Okoth tackles the man and goes for the ball. Meanwhile, Ntabeni Dukisa is back onto the pitch. It is a 15 all competition between the two sides. Austin Sikutua gets the ball and hoofs it forward. Meanwhile, literally, Half the KCB team is either offside.
The ball is lost forward. It is a scrum for Cabras. Well, the nerves, the emotions, you can see the KCB fans trying to explain to each other what is really happening on the pitch, not understanding or knowing where the problem is. Well, tactically, you can see that the two sides are pretty much evenly matched on the forwards in terms of the scrummaging and the lineouts. Not many moles being formed or scrum moving forward for both sides. However, Cabras looking to always depend on the scrum to launch their attacks. As you can see, Brian Nyambua signaling to his number nine. That is George Nyambua. Brian Tanga feeds the scrum down. Secondary shove by KCB, but Barry opts to go high with that KCB get the resultant possession. Vincent Onyala passes the ball to Austin Sikutua. Well handled out wide, Austin Sikutua. KCB lose the ball yet again on the ground. But the referee blows his whistle twice. Cabras going off their feet at scrum time, illegally getting possession. Center referee, Constant Cup, penalizes the Sugarman. KCB with a penalty, and this is definitely going into the K Cabras half. Darwin Mukiza doesn't get touch. But Cabras Sugar do not get too much of territory in that clearance kick. Still an opportunity there for KCB to launch an attack. Griffin Musila with the high line out. Pajan Collian takes the ball off the air. And a knock on there by Austin Sikutua. And with that, center referee Constant Cup signals for halftime, ladies and gentlemen. The halftime score, Cabra Sugar, 22, KCB, 5.
Molo taking contact, secured by Simil. Intercept time for the Sugarman. KCB just swinging that ball. Now looking to challenge Cabras at the rock area. But a big tackle there by KCB. Tabeni with a step in. Very good stepping skills by Ntabeni Dukisa. There you go, Barry Robinson. Cross kick. Looking for a teammate on the far side. Grass losing the ball forward. It is a scrum for KCB. Well, the jitters of the first half really. It took a while for KCB to settle. Story of the first half. As KCB give away the ball. An intercept by Cabras. But they eventually recover the ball. And looking to clear their lines. It is a scrum for KCB. Asati looking at the feed of the scrum. Quite a sizable crowd here. The entertainment galore for the locals and the visiting fans from across the country. A very warm welcome if you're just joining us on the live stream. We are international. Remember, we're streaming live on YouTube and Facebook on uh, the Kenya Rugby Union platforms and Y254. KCB get a penalty from that scrum. Fast line out of the second half. The captain uh, is a note. And Tanga, let's try and listen in on the communication. Andy Kolomolo goes up. Cabras. Putting a lot of pressure at line out time for the KCB team to handle, but eventually losing that ball forward. It is a scrum for KCB. The Battle of the Nines, Brian Tanga versus Samuel Asati. Both, of course, standing out for the Kenya Sevens team. Just a reminder, today across the country we had lots of finals happening. We have the Ladies Kenya Cup final, the Northern Suburb Cubs taking on Mwamba RFC at the RFA grounds. David Mukisa slices through Cabral Sugar's defense uh, for the Sugarman. KCB with a high ball over the top there. David Mukisa, David Mukisa. Giving it to Austin Sikuto, who takes contact. KCB clear. As Brian Wahinya passes the ball back to Levi Amunga. Levi Amunga doesn't find touch. And Orege does what he knows best, running it straight back at the defensive line of KCB. And there you go. Cabras 
with an attacking opportunity as the medics attend to one of the Cabral Sugar players in the background by Robinson. Passes and loops round. Walter Okoth takes contact. Is tackled a couple of meters away from the 22 meter area. Another big carry by Ephraim Odor. Another second half substitute for the Sugarman. And in goes Hilary Odiambo, who takes contact. Brian Tanga at the base of that track. Bryson Adaka with ball in hand, handing it over to Jod Nyambua. Jod Nyambua on the wing. Loses the ball in contact. The ball goes forward. KCB survive yet another scare. The big tall frame of Jod Nyambua. Running it straight to the KCB team. Well, KCB will have to find a way of playing in the Cabras team half or in the 22 area for them to claw back this deficit. Because as things stand, unless they have long range tries in them, this really looks like a challenge that Cabral Sugar has won in terms of field position. And as from in the 22 yard meter line of KCB, Brian Wainya at the base of that scrum down. Down Mukita with yet another kick, not finding touch. Goes to Alfred Orege. Orege to Lame Kambetsa. Lame Kambetsa passes and loops round. The ball is free for anyone who wants to take it. And KCB putting pressure on Cabras, piling. Broken play, dangerous play for KCB, but Taben Dukisa is brought to the ground by the KCB defensive line. Meanwhile, the ref is playing an advantage over Takla not rolling away. Penalized is Andy Kolomolo. Tabeni Dukisa left on the ground, probably seeking medical attention or grabbing a couple of minutes just to breathe in and out and catch his breath. Barry Robinson with a big boot, looking for touch and gets touch in the KCB half. Cabral Sugar just making sure that they play in the right areas. That last attack was the first time we've really seen KCB into the Cabras Sugar half in the second half. Telltale signs of dominance in terms of field position. Line out taken at the tail, 15. Line out is over, signaled by the referee. A mall set there by Cabras. KCB have to defend this right or risk losing. Uh, that mall seems to be progressing towards the try line, but Cabral Sugar lose the ball forward. Meanwhile, Tanga with a bit of highlights there for the hi highlight reel. That was a scary moment for KCB as the mall was moving towards the try line. But Cabral Sugar losing that ball forward. It is a scrum to KCB. Cabras just content with defending away from their own try line deep into the KCB half. With the laxity of losing the ball forward a couple of times and handing possession back to KCB who seemed to not really utilize any of that possession. Brian Wahinya shifts the ball to Levy Levy. Levy to Vincent Onyala Onyala to Darwin Mukiza. Darwin Mukiza puts ball to boot. A good kick uh, and taken into touch.
Cabra's team. Lame Kambetsa really had nowhere to go and had to find touch. And a quick line out there, allowed by the referee Vincent Onyala, attacking KCB. Looking to respond in the second half, Brian Wahinya with quick ball shifted into the midfield. But KCB losing the ball backwards. However, the referee pulling them back for possibly an offside infringement by Cabras. Looks like a tap and go for KCB as Oscar Simio stands on the ball calling his charges. Worldwide Masusi. And Nelson Ouko. And KCB lose the ball forward. However, it is a penalty. And the referee is going to send KCB, a KCB player, to the bean. And going to the naughty boys here is none other than Elvis Olukusi. <laughs> Similar to what happened in the first half, KCB down to 14. Cabras on the attack looking to capitalize on that one-man advantage. Very costly affair for KCB. Teddy Akala with ball in hand. Fits the line out. Well taken in the air by Cabras. Cabras on the attack. Brian Tanga. Barry Robinson hoofs the ball high into the air. It's looking to turn the KCB defensive line. Vincent Onyala on the break. Vincent Onyala chips and chases his own kick. Cabras allowing the ball to bounce. But eventually... Finding touch with our clearance kick. A good sequence of play there. A good position for KCB to launch the attack from. Well taken in the air by Andy. M Andy Cole. Mall for KCB. Seems to be moving forward. KCB, referee signaling for KCB to use the ball. Big Bob Mohati goes into contact. Wahinya at the base of that rack. There you have Innocent. Brian Wahinya, quickly. Looking to clear that, and referee playing an advantage for KCB. Drawing closer and closer to the white line for... The bankers. No advantage gained there for KCB. An offside line breach by Cabras. Decision time for KCB. Time running out. Definitely needing to score three tries at least. to even or take the lead in this one. They opt for scrum down. Not sure without Elvis or Lucusi on the flank what the advantage is, but looking to prove us all wrong. Felix Ojo at the tail of that scrum. Looking to launch the attack. Brian Wahinya goes in, gets the ball, ships the ball to Bob Mohati. Bob Mohati, it is try time, KCB. Or was it? They lost the ball forward in the goal line area. That is a goal line dropout for Cabra Sugar. What a scare there for Cabras. 
But what a missed opportunity for KCB at least to get another five pointer to bring the scores to 22 10 before the conversion. Talk of missed opportunities. Barry Robinson with ball in hand. Barry looks to clear it deep. Darwin Mukiza bringing it back, takes contact. Massive contact in the midfield there. Simiu takes contact. KCB on the attack. Big contact there from Cabras as they try counter racking and it is a successful counter rack. Meanwhile, referee blows for a penalty. Quickly taken there by Brian Wahinya. Wahinya passes the ball back into Levy Levy. It is a ping pong style of play between the two sides as they knock forward the ball. Rowai Mususi losing the ball forward. Once again, KCB loses a prime attacking opportunity to draw back the deficit of a 17 point difference between them and the reigning Kenya Cup champions, Cabras. Bit of a break in play. Well, it will be interesting to note how the second half has gone. And looking at all this from uh, the coaches' perspectives, Cabras have been able to really withstand pressure in the second half. Not so much of the pressure, but some of the pressure coming through from the KCB team and keeping the halftime score and lead intact. It will be a disappointing feeling for Curtis Olago, whose charges have not been able to at least put in a point on the scoreboard in the second half as the clock ticks. It is either now or never for KCB. Remember, they still are one man down. And in the background, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you the party is ongoing. Medical team attending to Brian. That is Hilary Odiambo, who took a head knock. Long stoppage in play, just offering the two teams an opportunity to catch their breath. Get some tactical information 
in from the coaches and hopefully launch the last attack towards the final end the final quarter of this game Cabras of course with a healthy 17 point lead against KCB looking to get a fourth consecutive Kenya Cup title in the bag looking to make it to the books of history changes in goes Patrick Lumumba and out goes Gabriel Odero Brian Tanga with the ball. Ball goes in. Solid, solid scrum by Cabras. Now making its way forward. Brian Tanga playing on the front foot. Barry Robinson, of course, to the air. And a knock on there by David Mukiza. An advantage for Cabras. Not taking the advantage and referee pulling play back to the advantage of the knock on in the air by Darwin Mukita. Darwin Mukita going up and not collecting the ball. And that tactic really proving to be Cabra's sugar constant weapon. Throughout this game, they've asked a lot of questions in the air of KCB and they've constantly come out with a positive outcome. Now with a scrum in KCB's half, a couple of meters outside the 22 meter yard area. And with a solid platform like the scrum that they have, this really is a do or die defensive effort by KCB. This could drive the last nail on the coffin Brian Tanga feeds the scrum. Scrum is moving. However, the referee penalizes Cabras. Not shoving straight the call there by the center referee, Constant Cap. Darren Mukiza with ball in hand, looking to find touch. Darwin doesn't find touch. Another missed opportunity. A tale of missed opportunities for KCB. Darwin with ball in hand, fielding the high kick returned by Cabras. Tackle is made there by Cabras. Brian Wainya passes the ball into the midfield. Peter Waiteri taking contact, but meeting a strong defensive effort by Cabras. It's a very good line speed by Cabras on the defensive. As Brian Wahinya seeks out the ball from the base of the rack. Bob Mohati loses the ball backwards, of course. And guess who's on the charge towards the try line? And they lose the ball forward. It is an advantage for Cabras. Brian Tanga in the five meter area of KCB passes the ball back in. But they lose it forward. But they had an advantage. And Cabras with a five meter scrum. Well, KCB really a victim of their own making, losing the ball whenever they had it in a prime attacking opportunity and good attacking areas. Just so much defensive effort 
put in by KCB. But for how long can you be able to defend in your 22 yard or your five meter area without cracking? They do say defense wins you titles, but sometimes defense really wears you down and that is exactly what Cabra Sugar are about today. Just wearing the KCB defensive line and just exploiting those simple small mistakes and spaces that appear in the KCB defensive line. And now on the front foot with a scrum in the five meters. Well, another break there, 10 minutes out. Water break for the two teams. Time is on. Scrum, Cabras. Scrum for Cabras, Brian Tanga with ball in hand. Face the scrum. Moving forward, obliterating the KCB scrum and an advantage in the offing as they lose the ball forward. But the penalty advantage ensuing. Well, that was. Cabra Sugar in their element. Danger bells ringing for KCB. This could be the last nail on the coffin to hand Cabras their fourth Kenya Cup title on the bounce. The crowd is eager. Second time of asking KCB strong on the defensive, not budging. Referee asking for yet another reset. No clear advantage for either side. Many thanks if you're just joining us. This is the 2024 Kenya Cup final. Big shout out to all the sponsors behind this final. Cabra Sugar, Alchemist, the Menengai Cream. And our security partners, the Crime Shield. Referee awards Cabras another penalty. Quick tap there by Brian Tanga. And finally, it is try time. Cabras. Ladies and gentlemen, getting Cabras, yet another try 
for Superbrand Sugar 27, KCB 5. Like I said, last nail on the coffin. Brian Tanga with a quick tap. Catching the KCB defensive line, not the required five meters. As in Tabeni Dukisa adds the extra two points. That is KCB five, Cabral Sugar 29. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as good as done. Six minutes out. 24 points, the difference between KCB and Cabras. E Imanda. Kickoff well taken there. Now Cabras smelling blood. Looking to turn the screw deeper and deeper. Tabeni with his boot. David Mukiza just trying to deceive a KCB defensive line. Brian Wahinya, Patrick Ouko, Nelson Nyandat have uh, the pass goes forward and it is a scrum for Cabras. Cabras looking to pile more misery on KCB. KCB finishing second in the regular season, earning the right to play a home semi-final where they met the Menengai Oilers while Cabras Sugar playing at home. Had to battle it out with uh, Nondi's RFC. Earning their slots in the final, ladies and gentlemen. This was, of course, on paper, a hard game. Seems like Coach Carlos was well prepared for this one. It has really been a game of two halves. Coincidentally, none of the two sides Really laying claim to a solid, solid half. Scrum for Cabras. Scrum time, KCB.
scrum for KCB. It has been a stellar, stellar season for Cabras. Going unbeaten in the regular season. It's song and dance by the Cabras, faithful. In your picture there, Eric Shimoli. <laughs> and the locals with the sugarcane signals. It will be a party tonight right here at the showground. Cabras Sugar going for a fourth consecutive title. Hello. Hello. Yes. Scrum is fed. KCB on the attack, Ryan Wahinya with ball in hand. Scrum awarded to Cabras, two minutes out. Scrum for Cabras, an advantage played. Brand Tanga with ball in hand. Slices through the midfield. Taben Dukisa passes the ball to Walter Okoth. Walter Okoth passes it to Alfred Orege. Orege, Orege. Danger signs off their feet. But referee playing an advantage.
Cabras on the attack, chip and chase, but they lose the ball to the KCB team who are fighting for nothing but pride at this point in time. That's a low tackle, but no arms tackle as a referee double blows. That looks like nothing but a serious infringement there by Cabras. There will be one man sent to the bean as KCB are awarded the penalty. An illegal tackle there by Cabras. No arms tackle in that specific tackle by Cabras. Meanwhile, KCB running out of time. And as I said, they're playing for nothing but pride at this point in time. Fidel Miner looking to feed the line out. Meanwhile, an injury break. That no arm tackle really signals a dangerous play. And mostly, you'd never know if you go into a contact situation where you've not really launched your arms. If you could come out of it, and there goes the culprit coming out was off in that last bit of play. The clock has ticked. Time has elapsed. The season has come to its tail end. And nothing will take this away from Cabras. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing will take this away from Cabral Sugar Hoof and the right to call themselves a four-pit champion in the Kenya Cup, ruling the rugby scene in the country for the last three years, taking it back to back to back, and now doing it for the fourth time on the bounce. They should be proud of their efforts as they lose the ball forward, a referee looks at his watch and signals for the full time. Ladies and gentlemen, full time scores as uh, they break into celebration. Full time score Cabra Sugar 29, KCB 5. Congratulations to Cabra Sugar for retaining Kenya Cup. And uh, Many thanks for those who joined in this live coverage. Thank you so much. I've been your host. My name is Walter Rangi. Until next time when we have yet another opportunity to catch the local rugby. You have a great time and stay safe.
Good game, uh, good game played by Cabras. I think we just regroup and uh, come stronger next season. What really could you attribute today's loss? Because you came out guns blazing, and of course Cabras taking home the trophy. But what can you really bring this loss down to? Heart. The boys must have heart. I know you're disappointed. It has been a very long season, but most importantly, you made it to this final and you should have your heads raised high. Thank you so much, Griffin Musila, and hopefully you guys make it home safely. Thank you and success for the rest of the season. Captain Cabras Sugar. And before the captain Cabras Sugar, I'd like to ask Katis Olago. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by the head coach, KCB. Bonacatis, you huffed and puffed, but you couldn't come through today right here at the Cabras home ground. What do you attribute to today's loss coming in against Cabras Sugar? Uh, good game of rugby. Very good game of rugby. Uh, it's a game of chances. Uh, we didn't take our chances when we had a shot to go at it. Uh, we make a couple of mistakes. We are put under pressure. And Cabras being a good team, well-coached team, uh, 
has a massive uh, ability to put you under pressure. So we put ourselves under pressure. Again, rugby is a game of chances. Uh, you take your chances. If you don't get those chances, I mean, it's uh, that's how rugby is. We did not win the little battles which we are supposed to win out there, but. Uh, I congratulate my boys for it's been it's been a long season, it's been a long season. Uh, quite young guys coming through, and uh, we can only take the positives and uh, learn from the. Long for us, and we keep on fighting again. Carlos and his boys, I mean, it was a good game of rugby, and I appreciate being here. All right, coach, just one last bit. How do you sum up this season? Considering that you've come in with a silver medal, overall performance by your boys coming in second, not really a bad performance, but you fell short in the final. What is your attribute towards the whole season, the 2024 Kenya Cup season? I mean, uh, it's, it's been a good season. We'll be, be, we've been rebuilding as KCB. I mean, uh, kudos to the boys. It's been a long, hard, grueling season that we've come up uh, short again. But we, we fought all the way to the finals. Many people, many teams uh, playing Kenya Cup and they could have wished to be, to be here. But uh, it's us again, like they say, Nisisi Tena. I mean, it's a, it's a good slogan to keep us moving all our way. Uh, we started this journey and we're still keeping at it. And that's a good start from the boys. Thank you so much, Mwana Curtis. I know you've had a very long couple of weeks preparing for this final. Let me uh, allow you an opportunity to go and rest with your boys. And hopefully we see you and your team yet again for the 2025 Kenya Cup season. Thank you and congratulations for the silver medal. And now the winning captain, the winning captain, George Nyambua. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by the winning captain, the Cabral Sugar Captain George Nyambua. Bona Nyambua, can you please sum to us the feeling of winning a fourth consecutive Kenya Cup title? Uh, actually, it's a nice feeling. Uh, I want to take this opportunity first to thank God for these five years brought us. Uh, we started this thing, uh, way in 2000, uh, 2022 by... Uh, Beating uh, Oilers, then uh, 2023 beat KCB, another 2024. is a uh, trippy to me, and also two season unbeaten. Uh, boys have been working really hard for this, and you can see the results are now showing, uh, showing off. We've been grinding, training each and every game we've been playing as a final, and uh, now you can see the boys are trippy champion. Yeah. Now what next for Cabral Sugar, because you are the top, top pinnacle of rugby in the country. What next for your team in terms of development? And remember, you are one of the pioneers of this club. What next for you in terms of your career? Uh, for me, I'm glad in Cabras we have so many youngsters coming up. The guys will take uh, after us because a uh, guy like me, I think I believe I only have uh, around uh, two seasons to go. And uh, at the moment, I have someone who can play same rugby style that I'm playing. So I'm glad. And the future of Cabras is also bright because we have a... Uh, a young, a young, young boy is coming off the school and we've been training also schools so that when you leave, at least we have a solid, a solid rugby team in Western. We are not only training as a Cabras, but we are developing rugby in Western as a, at large. Yeah. Well, very good words coming from the captain, ladies and gentlemen, talking about development. It is a championship win for you in front of all the fans. This is your home. You go and enjoy your celebration with your fans. Congratulations, Nyambua George. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask the winning coach, Carlos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by the winning coach, Carlos Katia. Carlos. Abariako, I am happy that you are standing in front of me. This is your 
fourth win on the bounce for Cabral Sugar, consecutive win. What does it mean for your team coming in today, beating your arc rival KCB? Um, it's got nothing to do with beating KCB. I think uh, we've said this before and we've dedicated this to two certain people, um, our beloved Kakamega community, our fans, everything, and then we dedicated this to our sponsor, especially Tej himself. Uh, we did this and we told him we'll do it for them, and we're extremely excited, and the boys deserve everything that's coming their way, and we're really proud and we're excited. Look at the numbers of people who came out to see the boys do what they do best. We are really proud and we are very, very uh, grateful for their support because they're the drivers of this team. It's the Kakamega family. Coach, at no point during that game did you go behind. You were on the front foot the whole period. What do you attribute to that performance in terms of how you came out of the blocks and won it convincingly? We were hungry. We were desperate for the win. We were hungry and the boys um, spent the whole year building up to this moment and I told you, you know, we had at least uh, let it slip between our quarters, I mean semis, uh, plays, playoff, but today we brought it back together and we were disciplined and we completed everything the way we wanted to. Well, Coach, it has been a very long season. What next for you and your team? moving into the preseason, and of course we are now going for the longer version of the game and of course also the super series that is coming up. What is in store in terms of Cabras? Um, first of all, let us just allow us to celebrate the win and then um, we will take it there. Uh, our biggest major um, goal was to win the Kenya Cup and the next thing up in store for us, I think that is in the Kenya Cup fixture, is the sevens. We, will, we are looking to take the sevens as well. We are looking to try and sweep clean everything. That's the type of team that we are. That's the type of team we have. We are goal driven and that's what we will try and achieve. Congratulations coach. Let me let you go and have fun with your team. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Carlos, the winning coach of the 2024 Kenya Cup title. And I'd like to ask the following to kindly make their way forwards. The match officials to be awarded by Bwana Leslie Njenga Mongale, director in charge of fixtures at the Kenya Rugby Union. The three match officials, actually five, six match officials. And leading the match officials is the center referee, Constant Cup, ladies and gentlemen, Duncan Kiyoko, Victor Odur, Nobat Bonyi, Bonfrantra Lumasa, Jared Issa. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been your star cast of the match officials at the 2024 Kenya Cup final. Well, thank you so much, the match officials. And now to award the match officials and the sighting commissioner, Bona Leslie Njenga Mongale, stays put. We have Tear. Tear to receive his medal from Leslie Njenga Mongale. And also receiving. His match commissioner medal is none other than Willie Ombisi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask Dr. Joshua Aroni to kindly make his way forward to award the top point scorer of the 2024 Kenya Cup season.
Ladies and gentlemen, your top point scorer, Ntabeni Dukisa. Congratulations, Ntabeni Dukisa. Congratulations, Kita. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to award the top try scorer, I'd like to ask Bwana Dr. Joshua Rooney. Dr. Tafadali, remain put as we award the top try scorer of the 2024 Kenya Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Ashiundu. Derek Ashiundu, ladies and gentlemen, making his way back from injury, stands out in the 2024 top try scorers chart, coming in top over the last couple of weeks. A clean sweep for the Cabrera Sugar team. Congratulations, Derek Ashindu. And now to award the runners up of the 2024 Kenya Cup, I'd like to ask Bwana Ray Olendo, Honorary Secretary, Kenya Rugby Union, to be joined by George Muruli, Head External Affairs Communications. George Muruli and LC Mohanda, Women Rep, Kakamega County. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the runners-up of the 2024 Kenya Cup season, KCB. Led by their captain, Griffin Musila. KCB Lions, ladies and gentlemen, coming in short yet again. Out but not out of the contest, ladies and gentlemen, KCB. A worthy opponent.
congratulations, KCB. So many teams wanted to be here, but you guys are here. Tough loss in the final. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to award the winners of the 2024 Kenya Cup title, I'd like to ask Bwana Moses Ndale, Vice Chairman, Kenya Rugby, Bwana Japheth Ashola, Group HRD, KCB, and Honorable Ayub Sabula, Deputy Governor, Kakamega County, to kindly make their way forward to award our winners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Cabra Sugar, Cabras, Petachola, Group HRD, KCB. Ula Ayub, Zigana, Kakomega County. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 
Ya no, Fray. Santo, Santo. Estaba, estaba. Congratulations to the two sides, KTV and Cabral, for the Green Bay Invitational Finals. From the Kenya Rugby Union, Big Jeff and the Kenya Rugby Union.